How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number four in my QBasic series. And in this video we're going to be going over commenting. So let's just launch QB64 and we're going to create a new file called comments.bas and click OK. Now what is a comment? A comment is a line that's ignored by QBasic when it runs. So you can put whatever you want there and QBasic is not going to read it. So um, yeah, they're really useful. You might not think there's a purpose, you know, you're just putting a line that's not getting you know, ran, why am I doing that? Comments are really important in computer science but underutilized. They're great for explaining what you're doing with your code, which is useful for if you have an error in your program and you're trying to get a friend to help you. They can read your comments and see what you're trying to do. You know, like, all right, this is supposed to do this. This is supposed to do this. This is supposed to do this, but it's doing something else. Here's your problem. Um, and it's also good for if you're working on a program for a long time, you know, you take a week or two vacation, you come back and you can't remember exactly what you were doing or where you were at. You can read your comment code and, uh, you know, see where you left off. So that's what why comments are useful and I really recommend you start getting into the practice early of using them and how do we do a comment we just put an apostrophe and everything following that is ignored so I'm gonna do a comment that says let's print out hello world and then we'll do our print statement hello world and we can run this. It prints out hello world, but it did nothing to uh, with this line here. It just ignored it. Now, if I put an apostrophe here and say print hello world, it also works. So you'll see it prints out hello world. So you can put a comment on a line of its own um, to maybe explain what the section of code is doing. But then you can also follow a line of code with a comment um, to explain what that specific line of code is doing. So there's many ways you can use comments. So I might have a comment that explains like five different lines of code and then put a space in between and then another comment. So I could divide up my comments that way, have them doing a chunk of code, explain what that chunk of code is doing, and then maybe a comment after each line to explain that line. The next chunk of code, if I'm going to put a comment to describe that chunk of code, I'll leave a space between the two different chunks of code. So that's one thing you can do. But uh, comments are also good for error detection. So if I didn't have that second double quote there and I try to run this, It prints out all of this, so it prints out hello world, and then my comment. Um, that's not really so much an error, it is an inconvenience, you don't want that being printed out. But if you had some sort of math error or something wasn't working the way you thought it, what you wanted it to, you can go to the front of the line, put a comment, uh, an imposture there to comment out the line. And commenting out is useful to zero in on which line's causing the problem. If you comment something out, you know, you could see what happens when that line's not there. Maybe that line's the one that's causing the error, sort of thing. So that's all the different ways comments are useful for, you know, informing you and others what's happening in your code, to comment out uh, certain lines of code for error checking, and really start getting into the practice early, even though the programs we're going to make in the series aren't that elaborate. It's just a good practice to get into early on, and then it will be a habit that will stick with you for a lifetime. So, thanks you guys for watching. Remember to leave a comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.